acceleration and they want you to overtake your expectations. That's progress you can feel. Go Dreamers! Hello, 
决定排名的比赛，希望大家我们的所有的朋友们可以发挥出你们的热情，一起来帮我们加油，同时守住今天的胜利，非常。关键的一战，需要大家认真的投入在我们的情境当中，也一样发挥我无所惧的加油声，让我听到大家呐喊一下，准备好喽，梦想家，梦想家，梦想家，谢谢，保持住这个热情，守住主场的胜利，谢谢女孩，谢谢壮壮，谢谢尤尼寿。我们三梦想家，感谢各位球迷朋友热烈支持，也要谢谢一直来支持台湾篮球、支持梦想家的合作伙伴。我们花一点时间介绍一下的指导单位以及赞助单位。首先，谢谢教育部体育署、彰化县政府、台中市政府、台中市政府运动局以及中华民国篮球协会。谢谢支持梦想家的赞助伙伴。海硕集团值得您信赖的国际海空运物流公司，心想科技全球货运代理整合性资讯平台 e v o 6电动车充电服务普电超轻松 a r i a 零二亚洲指标球鞋与潮流交易平台，马其斯轮胎世界十大轮胎公司，源自彰化的台湾之光，奥迪中部和顺利汽车进化有感而生，连续建设好还要更好，连续建设。台旭金肉有十年的肉品专家 ，T T N 征服法国的台湾面膜，进发家祖传绿六沙，朝日堂台中聚餐名店日式烧肉，锅煮鸳鸯锅，美金龙日本百年运动品牌，云城资讯企业 I T 整合战术的好伙伴，火火烧肉贩卖所，你用烧肉定义美味，我用美味定义烧肉。三六一多一度热爱，三六一曼代马莲最好穿的内衣，天天舒服穿。风格美学诊所 YCM 全球 AI 科技防霉领导者，多喝水矿泉水第一领导品牌，以及秀川医疗体系引领国际医疗专业，还有虎牌冰量啤酒，再一次把掌声送给他们，谢谢。作为梦想家最强有力的后盾，目光锁定场中，你们最性感最爱的。我们是 Sexy 女孩们出场喽 ，Let's go！ 10 white toes and them toy flip flops. All you ladies pop yo yo it like this. Shake your body, don't stop. Drop it. Thank you for the sexy dancing. Welcome to the performance. Welcome to the team of Oyun Buyuan, the team of the team. 
梁元林号，周怡翔，二号陈玉瑞，六号关达佑，七号乔楚瑜，八号陈玉汉，九号李学林。十二号李家康 ，Number Twenty Four Champion Green 葛拉汉，二十五号林振，两元先发 Number Five， 五号 Kennedy Mix 米克斯，十号林子伟，三十号白耀成。Number forty two, Jason Washburn, Washburn. Sixty nine, Lu Junxiang. Hao Yong Bu Yuan, Li Hong Yuan, Coach Lin, Head Coach, Coach Kaminas, Assistant Coach, Head 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 Coach, 我们不怕，持续再战，所有挑战我无所惧。Come on, let's welcome Formosa Dreamers。恐惧来自对未来的不确定，可能会失误，受伤会不能上场，怕自己不够好，怕努力不被看见，怕状况不好。怕输，但这些其实都发生过了。我们才知道，这些曾经的恐惧兑现后，就不再是恐惧。这些都会变成来自过去的助攻。把这些助攻一球一球投出去。坚持不懈，成为更好的自己，与在座的每一位家人携手，把胜利拿下。我无所惧，我们可以。Let's go, t r e m e Just blaze. Power. Number three, Sam O. 后场指挥官，梦想推进机，老吴吴家驹。李能劲爆的活动，篮板，半收人，他们西门需要李耀硕。可喜可贺，他们侧翼新鞋，他们这时候梦想成功，提冠军。他们 AT 十八号梦想后场的强力大中防守悍将杨胜业。台湾篮坛的传奇射手，他们传你万二十一号美梦狙击手高德奇炮。梦想家最后一道防线，传你 six 二十六号台湾魔兽李正伟。出手就准备命中，三分在命时，他们整体三十二，吴松威，来自德州的野兽 ，forty two 四十二号禁区炸弹 ，Julian Ball。
那么 ATA 八十八号金曲铁臂梦想护盾周博士。梦想家的板凳暴徒 ，Number Zero 零号陈春旭。梦想家的后场魔术师，来门传令 ，Number 十八号全能射手卢冠良。来自纽约的全能 Number Five Five Chris Mikaro。本地破三十四号火锅制造机，威斯康星地图防守兵器，本地攻败。And now， 赛内的狙击手，秒速跑车 ，Ladies and Gentlemen， 南美内门十一号，李志奇。我们让总教练 ，Head Coach， 全民 PM， 助理教练。陈世年、赖柏林，球员发展总监田磊，总经理韩俊凯，双方球员最后热身时间。想家彰化主场呢，需要。Gentlemen, seniors and youth, approaching the winning streak record versus trying to snap a losing streak. Welcome to Zhanghua County Stadium in a game between the Taoyuan Puyuan Pilots against the Formosa Dreamers. The latter, right now, engaged in a uh, weekend back-to-back. -back. Their last time here at Zhanghua County Stadium. The rest of the season, and expected in the playoffs, they'll be playing from Taizong. There's the current standings. The Pilots are the number one team at 20 and 11. The Pilots are number two at 19 and 12. Lioners, Kings, Braves, and Steelers from uh, top to bottom for the rest of the places on the standings table. But don't feel too bad for the Dreamers on a losing streak. They might be on a three-game slide, but a win today will put them back in first place thanks to a head-to-head -head advantage over the Pilots, currently at three and three. Not too bad for a little Sunday afternoon run, huh? And the Pilots, their last loss was against the Dreamers back on March 10th in Taizong, Intercontinental Basketball Stadium. Since then, they have rattled off eight straight wins and gained five games in standings against the previously number one Dreamers. The Pilots kind of represent that third team to join that number one chase when 
We started the season with the new Taipei Kings up in front, and then it's been the Dreamer Show for the most of the part the rest of the way up until last week. On the Mandarin broadcast, on the left is Mark Tianhui, and on the right is Zhang Longxuan, former SBL ball player. Show me, play on me, Zhao. In one, Zhao, you have to hear Kui Ge and Zhang Longxuan. The broadcast, of course, is under Chinese broadcast. Thank you for watching. Remember, the broadcast of the Plus League broadcast is under the Plus League. So, did you guys know today is actually Mark Tionkwe's birthday? And actually, I had to look it up. It is the first time in uh, Plus League history that we've scheduled the game on his birthday. And uh, we've got to break up the very new, very special graphics for our guy. The uh, number one commentator in the Plus League in terms of number of games broadcasted. Well, I'll let you guys discuss about the quality. All three of our main guys do a great job at the microphone. I'm Ryan Chen, your English play-by-play. -play. Of course, if you've been watching all along, you know that the uh, Dreamers called Zhonghua their home during the ABO era and into the first season of their Plus League history. And now that the renovations and uh, fixes have been made to the stadium, they've returned for six games here in season four. They still train in their home in Taizong for the most part and will be playing most of their games. We'll be seeing a new import combination for the uh, pilots. Interesting enough, Meeks, Graham, and Washburn will be combining for the first time this season. And Travion Graham was the man interviewed pregame, having played a good game against the Braves. Last time out, a team high 24 uh, points. Just staying humble. Um, we play, we had a, we have a good run right now. Um, but every day in practice, we, we compete against each other. Um, we care for each other. We you know we love each other on and off the court. So it is, it makes it easier for us to go on the court and just play hard for each other. So as long as we continue to stay humble and keep working hard, you know we'll keep the momentum. Um, taking it a day at a time. Um, um, I got here, we were, um, I think, in fourth place when I got here. Um, but it just took it a day at a time. We had injuries and people came back from injuries. But once we kind of got our whole team back together, I think that we just took it a game at a time and it just built, built from there. So um, today we play um, the Dreamers and then the next game we'll play and then we just kick it one, day, one game at a time. Travion Graham. Announced signing with the team on February 7th, so a late addition, the latest addition to the Pilots, in fact. And has not shined statistically in an individual side, maybe if you're thinking of points scored, but his contributions has helped the team to five wins and one loss on the season. So you can say he's been making the most of it, and as are the Pilots, of course, as mentioning, getting up to first place. And right now, the Dreamers are switch, trying to switch things up and change their look. They've been wearing the forest green Sea town jerseys, now going with their black jersey sets. Spoke to Aji Ling Jingji, their top local scorer, about the absence of Randall Walco, Kenny Chen, and then uh, the coach's rotation. Typically on the Dreamers, no matter if it was Coach Julius, it was Coach Eric Leib, Woling, or now Jamie Proman, it's not the deepest rotation of players, and it's even shorter now without their two overseas Chinese, overseas Taiwanese players in rotation. Yesterday, the Dreamers fell to a healthy Kings with Joseph Lin putting in the most points and his brother, Jeremy, returning to action after a long absence. It was their worst loss since January 20th when they last played the Kings by 32. But here's Achi. Because 就是大概每位球員體能都是調整都差不多
他搞不好今天用这么少人，但他明天搞不好会又突然用其他人。我觉得就是心态还是要保持好，我觉得没有什么太大的问题。Aji sharing that it does make a big difference to their rotation, their competitiveness without Kenny Chen and Randall Walko. Wang Zhengfeng, Zhang Liyue, and Peng Sixuan, the three officials, then saying that all the players, all the dreamers are in good condition, so you never know when you'll be needed. Jason Washburn, Lin Ziwei, local boy, Bai Yaochen, Kennedy Meeks, and Justin Wu Zhengshan will be the stars for the pilots on the dreamer side. Brandon Gilbeck, Chris McCullough, Jay Chen, Ling Junji, and Ryan Lu Guanyang, same starters for the Dreamers as yesterday's game. Pilots attacking the basket on your left side, but it's going to be the Dreamers who will get started first. And it looks like uh, Brandon Gilbeck uh, deked uh, Jason Washburn into a jump ball violation. One second came off the clock, and we'll have a uh, sideline inbound. As mentioned, local boy Lin Ziwei, second year pilot. Actually, unfortunately, was a DNP last time. The only other time they came to Zhanghua. Nobody reaches for the rebound as Brandon Gilbeck will get bumped. And that's how we get started. see hack from behind by Ziwei or Wayne. Yeah, the pilots did an okay job blocking out, but when the basketball hit the hardwood, nobody was there for it. Running Gilbeck at the line. Third year dreamer now. Sinking the first free throw. Trying to improve on is just about just north of 50% free throw shooting yesterday, five of nine. Second on the team with 21 points in all. And a two for two trip. Good start for him and the Dreamers. On this side, it's Jay Chen trying to stick with Wu Zhengxiang, the uh, MVP of the month of March in the plus league. As Kennedy Meeks from the uh, right corner, we got the Pilots their first score. McCullough now wearing a headband. Don't see, haven't seen that. Do a good face-up defense. Quick double as the pass is off and intercepted by Alton. One man in front, but the defense gets back in time. Good hustle by the Dreamers. So Zoué faking one and then blocked from behind by McCullough and uh, lucky to hang on to the basketball as the uh, Dreamers can't get their own rebound. And I love Zoué. Good up fake to get around a J, but had McCullough around. On the baseline curl, way overshooting was Justin. In transition, the Dreamers have Luka now with the up and under. Looking for Jason Washburn now at the top of the leaderboard for a point scored in the plus league, but still among the top five. Going to the right hook, but the ball will bounce out. Not so lucky there. Now with Aji starting from the dribble, Zue giving him half a step. Usually it would be Lee Jiapong in the starting role. Ball flipped down. Brandon Gilbeck will dunk it through. Assist to McCullough there on the uh, switches. So a 6-3 to three start. A couple minutes in. Washburn will try from deep. But 
ball out of bounds. It looks like it'll go the other way. There you see the feed from the other angle as long wingspan of Brandon Gilbeck making easy work of that opportunity. Only 14 seconds shot clock. There will be a travel call. Oh, the two teams trade turnovers. In the look. The referee saw buyout to reset his uh, feet there. No, it's not uncommon that for Caminos to actually put one of his rotation guys in to keep the rotation. That's a little trip of Aji going down the hardwood. It looks like Zue pushed from behind on something of a trip. Caminos previously put in Number six, Guan Dayo, and Zue is actually, if I'm looking at my notes right, on his fifth start of the season. We got two personal. I don't think the uh, pilots are too bothered on the switch. Washburn can't force a miss. Brandon Gilbeck with a sweet turnaround. McCullough chasing as this time the ball. A little bit too deep off the rim, intended for Washburn down low. Over this way, the pilots leave Ryan open. This shot is up and through. So after yesterday going down big, it's the Dreamers with a quick eight-point lead. Washburn from the restricted painted area, but no. He is 0 for 3. Not a good sign for the pilots, though. He usually always finds his scoring at some point in the game. Going baseline, ball getting away. Aji having to pass it out. McCullough crossing over and uh, tied up. Here we have a foul coming. To add to the pilot's woes, three team fouls, none to the Dreamers. Pocket pass with McCullough, pump face now flipping to the basket, but ball getting away. Of course, intended for Gilbeck and Meeks in the foul in transition as Coach Roman is going to make a substitution. Julian Boyd coming in. There you see the quick take foul by Gilbeck. Well, one thing of note, of course, I mentioned, I think, the uh, 14 straight games with 20 assists or more. Well, that also, on the other end of it, only 16 turnovers for the Pilots. And looking on the game, they've already piled up quite a few. Ethan. Sneaking a rebound as Washburn threw some contact. His first score of the game wasn't easy. But sometimes that's how it goes. You almost need it to be a little bit more difficult. Especially for a scorer like Washburn. Julian Boyd making the drive and off to Ubud now. A tough corner jump shot over Tsue. Off to a good start in this game. It's Justin's hit on the drive. Yesterday, Lu Guanyang, seven points on a two for nine shooting, but he did have five assists. Our first timeout of the ball game. Just under the seven minute mark, it's the Dreamers off to an early lead.
二楼的观众，谁想要一起玩中场游戏？让我看到你们的手，好不好？快这里，双手举高，想要玩中场游戏的朋友，好球，来换球。好，我们这边一楼的观众朋友，一楼的我梦想有没有？你要不要玩？有没有一楼想要一起玩我们中场游戏的我梦想来了？好，二楼的观众在哪里？好，谢谢。下一个，我们这边的我梦家人，谁想要一起玩中场游戏？来啊！好。Do you like you viewers? So go ahead and like us back on the YouTube stream. Our last time. In Zhanghua County Stadium for the season, where the uh, Dreamers playing at their team historical home after the renovations, up against the uh, Pilots, who they're contending for first place on the season, three wins apiece, with the average margin rather close. They're 87.3 for the Dreamers, 86.5. The Pilots do have the rebounding and assist edge. Dreamers shoot the three ball just a little better. And the Pilots, at least on the season series, have controlled their turnovers. Close, a good block by McCullough. This time, it was right under the basket that Justin got open. I guess just open for a second. Jian Hao in the game. Number 21 feeding a boy, trying to squeeze and does squeeze for some space. Getting by one as Kennedy Meeks banks it in. Pilots have not gone to a lot of post-up isolations quite yet. Kala out of bounds, and it looks like we'll be going the other way. Stopped by the Pilots' wall of defenders. On the pilot side, number 12, Lee Jakob, who's at least on the season, for the most part, assumed the starting role. This time coming off the bench, he has done it with knee injuries as Justin can't hit from close. Well, if Washburn and Justin are having so much trouble scoring, it's going to be a long afternoon for the Pilots as Chris McCullough bumping into Washburn and getting the score. Needs a mid-range, no. Right now, it's feeling like it is not the pilot's day. All these open shots missed. Nice through passes. Julian Boyd gets the lay in. And a 19 to 7 run. Washburn in deep position. Not much of a contest from McCullough, who got blocked out there. Especially without Gilbeck in, you'd imagine Meeks and Washburn will try to fight for deep positioning on the switch. Boyd is not, doesn't see the double, misses once, and lays it in. Shalbai and uh, Justin, the closest defender, so easy uh, read on the uh, ball screen switch. Gonna go the other way. There's Jackie, flipping it to Meeks up close. Foul from behind, and foul from the side. Yeah, free throws coming up. Looking up at the scoreboard, it will be Lu Guan now. Three subs for the Pilots coming in, and uh, subs for the uh, Dreamers. A little easier to keep up is number 10, Ding Guan Hao, rookie out of Jianxi University. On the Pilot side, man interviewed pregame. Number 24, Travion Graham. Number 25, Ling Zun. Along with number six, Killer Guan Da Yong. Guan Da 
Dayo and Ming Tsen, four years ago, were rookies with the pilots. The screen in transition, and uh, Achi's fouled by Meeks in the front court, fourth by the pilots. See the white bars on the bottom of your score bug indicate the fouls. As you see, Meeks trying to contend that he did get the basketball, but there was also contact on the body. So Hachi trying to get away from Juan Dayo and Julian Boyd strokes a three. Now facing New personnel offensively, Dreamer is still sticking with man defense. Down low to Graham, pushed onto by Gilbeck and uh, commits the travel. Didn't get a clean catch. Just like yesterday, we said the uh, Dreamers had a first quarter to forget. Where they were down 30 to 12 against the Kings. Well, right now, 24 to 11. Hook pass and Doug left open in the left corner. Yes! Same thing. Anji dribbling right and a couple of swing passes, leaving somebody open. Pass the other way as Guan Dayo to Trevian Graham. He'll let it fly and an answer for the uh, pilots. Desperately needed. Guan Dayo forcing Achi uh, sideline, avoiding the travel. On this side, it's Meeks. Did get his footwork clean. And he'll head to the bench to pull off. Of course, the pilots can contend that they thought there was travel before, and then they get punished with a foul. So, bonus free throws. Or number 11, Ling Junqi at Zhou Yishang's checked in for the first time. <laughs> After making the first, Aki didn't look like his mechanics were all that right. Whatever it takes to make it in. Yesterday's seven of eight at the line on his way to 22 points. Dreamer is high on the game. Now a horn set. Graham and Washburn working together. Cut off, forced into a desperate heave as Dinkwan Hall to Achi. They got space, his three is up and missed. Nice tap ball from a dub to JB and another slam by the Dreamers. Over here is the fourth foul by the Dreamers, but they had one to give. That's customary, the Dreamers had a Longer video session instead of court work. Probably considering their back to back schedule as Boy got a hand on it. One man to beat. He will get another dunk. And so, with a two and a half minutes left, they already have 33 points. It looks like Gilbeck legally got it off target as Ken's pass did not get to Washburn. Good idea. Not easy in close quarters. Now on the switch, Aji throwing it to a referee. Trying to hit a shooter on the perimeter.
well-deserved rest as there you see uh, Ken wasn't aggressive enough to the basketball or Julian Boyd wanted it more. Already 13 points in the first quarter. Jackie to a cutting ground, loading it up and in. Gonna need at least from the early goings, Travion Graham does represent the best scoring option for the pilots. Especially when they really need one back. Hayden Rudatry recently subbed in. The J back to Hayden. He'll try from three and overshoots it. Numbers for the pilots, but they're spread out. Zoe Shan, I think his first touch, slips it to Washburn from the free throw area. Got it. Pilot's defense was contending as Doug open from down low, but blows it. Thought he got hit. Washburn trying to step around using the left hand, but that one's out. Trying to flip it to uh, Gilbeck in a foul first. The free throw is coming up as the uh, tape kind of getting loose. going to be Graham's first. In any case, free throws coming up. Four to six. Four to six. Yeah, Tony Gilbert staying perfect. That's uh, all free throw shooters on the game. Meeks two for two. Aji two for two. And Gilbert's also a perfect two for two from the field. Tough to have a dunk in there for his efforts. And he toured the bench for Chris McCullough. So you're a back pass, but into the hands of Defender. Give and go as McCullough faking, then passing. Uh, will end up in the hands of Travion Graham, intended for JB. With a little physicality and an easy lefty lay. Again, it's Travion Graham. The recognition got smaller defenders in front. Just split the gap. The Dreamers lead right now sits at 15 with one last possession. to the illegal screen. To Julian Boyd, that'll be his first. Another look again. It's a little bit like the feet of Boyd caused that contact. Jackie out to Washburn, time running out. He doesn't even get a shot off. So a first quarter that the pilots rather forget, but certainly a first quarter that the Dreamers sure appreciate from their squad. We're headed to the second quarter, but after one, it's the Dreamers up by 15. Let's 
，黑白切，黑白切，男生女生配，黑白切。来，女生配，黑白切，黑白切，黑白切，黑白切，来，女生配，黑白切，女生配，哇！有你受赢了，这回合。但是我们还是请我们的我梦家人吃八大炸鸡的跑的快套餐。谢谢。好，接下来的话，优你手，你来自己选一下。我们是不是要来找？哦，要挑战的是不是？领的粉丝，这里有没有想要挑战我们优你手的朋友？有没有领航员的球迷想要来挑战的？哎，有了，举手，举手，这里有没有？好，就是你的同学。谁？谁？这位穿橘色衣服的。好，领航员全部选来，速度版的哦。Coming up tonight, the Braves try to keep up with the Lioneers as they take on the shorthanded Steelers. Yesterday, putting up a valiant fight against the said Lioneers, sitting pretty at third place in the standings. On this side of things, we have the number two Dreamers against the number one Pilots. The last time these two teams played here in Zanghua, the only time they played here in Zanghua, February 4th, Dreamers end up winning it by three as Washburn couldn't finish over Boyd. It was uh, very unlike this game. I call it the uh, import player field goal bloodbath, only 30%. The only uh, efficient scorers, Brandon Gilbeck's 22 points on 9 of 13 shooting. Boyd fading away as Washburn will tip it to himself. Grant spinning into a little bit of space and dropping it in over Jin Ho. Slips and good recognition. Graham got a hand on it. Now in transition, his three is up, a miss. And a rebounding foul as Washburn in the midst of it. And uh, right in front of me, I see that Doug kind of gesture toward the uh, Dreamers bench for a substitution. I don't believe he's in foul trouble. But he might have his reasons. Subbed out for the other wing player in Wuban now. Little driving kick. Strand missed the last one in and out with this as the ball eventually falling to the Dreamers. Hayden alley -oop to McCullough. Streaking from the baseline and slamming it home. Jackie working with Washburn now going around the world as Zoe Shaw missing that side leaning three pointer as Dreamers flood in transition. They foul first. I'm sure the Dreamers would have preferred that <laughs> referees let that one go and. Give McCullough another dunk opportunity. Flurry of subs later as Justin and Aji checking for their respective teams. Guarded by uh, Ethan by Alton. How about a deep read by Jay Chen? It results in a deep rebound. Baking, then passing. A great play by the second year by Alton. Jason Washburn, the recipient. Up 
one now trying to beat his man with physicality. Three seconds on the clock, though, as Jay will try it again, leaving it short. Well, it's a slow play. Yeah? Right now, finding those down by 13. Dustin switching his dribble, switching the screen as a holding foul from behind. Get another look at Fountain attracting two defenders and leaving off a perfect one. In the meantime, uh, Coach Proman wants to talk things over. Here there's considerations for the fatigue of the players on the floor. We'll go to a break. Be back after the following messages. Okay, Thanks to all of our 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Perhaps we're on our way to even greater numbers in our future. Timeout called by the Dreamers here at home. But they'll be trotting out their starting five. The pilot side, kind of a starting look with Graham in for Meeks and Zoe Chang in for Zhu Wei. with a little spinning uh, jump shot on the pivot. And it's Brandon Gilbeck offering a legal screen in transition. Imagine the pilots have said he's done that a few times. This is where I'd argue if you're the screener, maybe you should be calling out the screen. Hopefully Bialton's all right. He's on his feet right now, checking the hardwood. Understandably, Gilbeck's thinking that the defender is bumping into him. Of course, always say the key is you need to give the defender enough space to avoid. Of course, after everybody argues about the legality of contact, Zoe Shao faking a shot, then a foul. Again, it's Brandon Gilbeck. His third personal, just like that. There you see also hitting Zoe Xiang in the face, too. If you avoid one foul, there's still another. Not much getting around that one. So just like that, Dreamers have 14 fouls. Zoyshan having made one, looking at another. Last week when the uh, Pilots played the Braves, he had uh, 16 points and uh, nine rebounds. Looks like a, a dribble violation by McCullough there before he could deliver a pass. And two turnovers in a row by the Dreamers not even getting the ball to the front court. get around and uh, looks like a block by Boyd. Little communications by uh, Washburn if there could have been a pass. 
Might be done a little bit of seam, but he would have had to look behind him. Same combination as Washburn trying to go hard, blocked. Now with numbers, Boyd through the middle, kicking to some shooters as Lu Guan now. Yes! Right now, the better Lu in the game. His brother actually a line here as ball on the deck, but lucky for the pilots, a Dreamers kickball violation. So no relations between number 69, Lu Tringxiang and Lu Guanyang. He's been hot on the game. But they traveled the other way as Meeks fresh in the game. into a miss. Zoe Xiang, he spaces out. Will try to answer no. Still the Dreamers lead right now at 15. Anji kicking it to a corner shooter. Jay Chen too strong. Everything for the pilots has not been that easy. How about a little flip pass? Meeks patient with it, the ball on the deck. He's going to retreat it out. And eventually flipping it up for a shot. With him and Boyd both ending up on the hardwood. Despite getting this foul, it definitely feels like Meeks is very much out of rhythm. Now, Boyd is not completely innocent, but He's in a much better defensive position. Too personal for him. Just imagine the Pirates will be going inside a lot more, but now they've accumulated a couple misses at the line. Going only 0 for 2 as the long rebound. Bounds off the pilots. Washburn got a paw on it. Aji freed up by a screen. Uh, and uh, good contest by uh, Boyd to prevent a deep pass. So in the half court, Washburn forced out by McCullough. Two around him. Easy rise and fire. Under seven minutes to go in the first half. Dreamers right now five out. Kind of the formation that's worked best for them as poked away. Leading head pass to Ray. Ray Chen number two with a, a fast break layup. Having made one, we'll try it from the top of the arc. And uh, now more running for the uh, pilots. Poked out of bounds by Zhenjie. And Doug Crane will come in. So typically, Chen Zhenjie will be the shooting guard or Lu Guanyang. Those are usually guys sub for each other. But now they're kind of been pushed up to wings, even small forward positions. A rotation challenge. He's got inside positioning and now a whistle. It's an illegal offensive move, they say. So three personal fouls on Kennedy Meeks and don't forget the travel turnover too. Now 
by Justin as Nocello starting a move. Only Justin's first personal. The Pilots did have a couple of fouls to give. Interesting feed there. Get another look at Justin immediately going to the hands. And that's not clean defense. Anji switched on, now switched back. Boy driving by his man and a whistle on the reach. It seems like the uh, Dreamers are loving this five out offense. Uh, look, you see, it's, you see Tony Ray reaching in. Boyd with a clank. One of the better free throw shooters statistically on this season for the Dreamers at 72%. Yesterday's game, 10 points. Going 0 for 2 as Washburn will have that adventurous rebound. Two for ten shooting. Slip pass as Meeks keeping it in bounds. A surprise you fade away. The pilots find themselves down by nine. Only five points. Five minutes to go on the quarter. IG will kick out to Doug. He'll try it and yeah. On the way, he knocks it down. Had one of his better games recently against the Dreamers. He's on the deck as Aji will walk into one, but in and out. Deep pass in transition as Boyd almost got the interception, and unfortunately for him, crashes into Meeks, commits the foul. So slow to get up. Expect free throws upcoming. Dreamers don't want to go to their local big, so McCullough will check in. Good with the first. Number five, Kennedy Meeks. A nine record. North Carolina boy all throughout his upbringing. Ending up at UNC. Tough jumper in Washburn's face, but they have a rebounding advantage and a whistle. If it's on Meeks. He's heading straight to the bench. His fourth personal. Trying to block out Brandon Gilbeck and uh, smart by Caminos to react right away to get a sub in, but kind of realizing what kind of play was going on. And we'll get to see it here. There is some arm hooking for sure. I wonder if there was a later whistle.
after the first. Way short with the second. On the uh, pilot side, they're not bringing in their local big. As Washburn loses the handle. Unforced turnover as uh, Chris McCullough getting away. Aji's to a, to a few hands. In transition, Justin just off with that three. Looking up at the scoreboard, zero points. Leaving a wide open in Dinguan Hall. I believe he's uh, on his way to a new career high in minutes played as Graham. Screen four, dumping it off. Jason Walker with the jam. Now the lead cut to seven points. 17 to nine, the second quarter score for the Pilots. McCullough with Justin behind him. One dribble, pull up, a little strong, and Gilbeck over jumping the rebound. Jackie with speed, leaving it short though. Doug, the last man back there. Avoiding the charge as a little tic-tac-toe to Jim Hall for the layup. Look out below as and one for Washburn getting around Gilbeck. Look, going with speed, and uh, I definitely think Brandon Gilbeck might get a flop warning there. Fourth personal as, again, big challenge for the Dreamers. They have very, very briefly Yesterday's game went with number 88, Tobotun, for some uh, rotational minutes. But right now, sticking with their three imports as a rotation. High over the reach as Lee Trinkji dropping in the runner. Lead back up to nine as Jackie flipping into Washburn, patient with it, securing the two points. Nice feed by the pilot's guard. Tangeray on McCullough trying baseline and an offensive foul. Tangeray definitely was a mismatch and so baited McCullough into that charge. And rightfully so. Dreamer's bench wondering what the difference between this contact is and the Washburn Gilbeck one. Less than a minute and a half to go in the first half. Washburn looking for his teammate. Tony Ray offers up a, a force three. Reflected off of a dreamer. Going to get a full 14 on the shot clock. Good job by Coach Caminos and the referee by the scorer's table. Justin on the curl, two step up and out, and Washburn tipping it in with the right. Doubled. Luke now nice fine, but halfway down and out. Jay Chen get the Dreamers another chance. Don't have that much time. IG fake play call. Now waiting for the screen. Lead the way first in the game. Ball getting away and a steal. Pass up ahead. Tony Ray. One man to beat. Taking the contact but missing. 
Kelsey letting them play through that one. Might have had a teammate on the other side as about a six second shot clock game clock difference. Going baseline, finding some daylight to Alito. Hey, Butterfingers, it's off as Chris McCullough picks up his teammate. Still time for the pilots if they hurry. McCullough left in the backcourt. Graham, left, right dribble. Keeping the dribble alive and a foul. And a bad defensive sequence by the Dreamers there. There should be some time left on the clock and the referees will go to the monitor, check that out. The Dreamers already headed to their bench, kind of leaning toward the locker room, but with a foul, there's definitely time on the clock. Even if it's 0 0.01. So thankfully for the Dreamers, that last possession resulted in two points, despite the way you can almost see it from a mile away, getting the Butterfingers there. Now, they might even check if the foul occurred before or after time expired. And based on the lights there, it was definitely before. And considering they just got a score, oh, it is a lot closer than I thought. So perhaps the Dreamers aren't wrong to be heading toward the lockers. According to our TV colleagues, there will be some time left. And again, maybe you don't want to give up the layup, but not being able to hold the pilots to the backcourt is a bad defensive blunder. First half, 0 0.17 left on the clock. One make and two makes. Not much for the Dreamers to do, but inbound it and head to the lockers. So 50 to 45 is the score after the first half of play. Both teams facing a big rotational challenges coming up in the second half with so many fouls. Certainly L区六排一号 七排五号，有没有在现场？有没有在呢？要在现场哦，才有机会得到。文斌，文斌，你在吗？在不在？蔡德华帮我们举手，挥手一下。你在不在？郭彩杰的，你在不在？一区七排五号，有吗？没有。
八位，等一下拆成两队，一队黑队，一队绿队。是的。好，今天我们要玩的游戏叫做追梦大挑战，也就是岩浆之路。想象我们的球场地板现在都是岩浆，你们只能站在这个石板上。我们就请我们工作人员示范一下。等一下脚下，一人会有一块石板。但是中线出发的这位朋友，你会有两块，这样可以方便你去移动。然后移动的时候呢，只能用手去移动，然后跨到另外一个石板，这样就可以营救你的队友。营救完了之后，好跨石板，再用你的手去移动。然后今天的目标，好，注意听喽，注意听喽，注意听喽，今天的目标就是四位。这四位到我们的禁区，那四位就到那边的禁区。四位要完成。So for the theme on the weekend, it is Mengxiang Heilu Dui Kuan Sai, black versus green. The dreamers will split their ball players up, split the cheerleaders up, have fun halftime activities and giveaways based on. Those two squads. The squad on the floor, though, trying to salvage a one and one weekend. Tian Onghui and Zhang Hongxuan on the Mandarin broadcast. I'm Ryan Chen, taking care of you guys on the English side of things. Where there's the combined team statistics. The Dreamers do shoot a little bit better from the field, but could also commit more turnovers. They rebounded the ball a little bit better and found those long threes, resulted in some longer rebounds. Assist-wise. Been doing a little bit better thanks to some good execution and transition, and certainly Ling Tring Ji with seven in the first half, passing out of those double teams very well. Meanwhile, on the pilot side, overall statistically, you might say, well, ten turnovers is not good for a half, but seven in the first quarter, getting cut down to three, that had to be a big key to their adjustments. Of course, the two teams super familiar with each other. They're going to be jumping each other's passing lanes. It almost comes down to the effort plays. And as of right now, I would say both teams have just been 50-50 with those 50-50 balls. Now in the uh, first quarter, the Dreamers were getting anything they wanted. Scoring at a high percentage and really pushing the pace, despite maybe even having seven turnovers, they were also perfect six for six from the uh, free throw line, so that's good. But in the second quarter, with the Pilots finding a little bit of rhythm and also shaping up their defense better, forcing the Dreamers to six of 20 shooting in the second quarter and then seven more turnovers made it much harder. Meanwhile, on their side, they couldn't convert any one of their three-pointers. The Pilots 0 for six but still pushing the pace, forcing the issue. Jason Washburn with 12 points alone in that quarter. Of course, pretty decent catch radius. And eventually after leaving out some of those misses, and so the most missed opportunities, making clean catches, kind of changing the angles of where he would do a hand up where he would cut from, and that yielded good results. And a bunch of teammates were able to find him. Of course, notably Bai Alto in transition, Lee Jiakong, and even a nice Travion Graham dish too. He has three steals as well. And one big note of the game, of course, is the foul situation. Kennedy Meeks has four personal, which leads the pilots. But on the uh, Dreamer side, Brandon Gilbeck with four, Boyd with three. And it for some reason in my mind, they have a lot more, but the free throw battle will be a big thing down the stretch. We'll get to the leading scores in the second segment after this. Thank you. 
前一点。好，下一位。可惜，完成。哦，下一位，非常的可惜。恭喜壮壮的绿队获胜，获胜！可惜可惜可惜，差一点点，差一点点，可惜可惜可惜可惜可惜，恭喜！哦，差一点，辛苦我们八位的梦想家人。可是这边默契十足啊，很厉害很厉害，临时成军，但是大家沟通的非常的好，默契很棒。我们这边差一球而已。对。好，恭喜我们今天八位。辛苦的梦想家人都可以获得 m i s u n o 品牌准备的精美好礼，获胜的队伍呢可以得到我们的后背包，另外一队则是可以得到我们的斜肩包。是的，来帮我们看一下前方。我们看一下前方的摄影师，一起合照。来，准备一二三，我们再一张，一二三。好，我们看一下那台摄影机。好，谢谢我们八位辛苦的梦想家人，谢谢,谢,谢你们，恭喜获胜，来恭喜你们。接下来是我们的黑绿对抗赛，是的。那我们来公布我们黑绿的成绩了，对不对？的游戏，今天要邀请到我们的 Sexy 玩一个不一样的哦。对，也我们 Sexy 也有分黑绿两队。是的是是。今天我们的 Formosa Sexy 分成两队，等一下他们的对抗赛赢了可以直接加三千分。三千哦，帮我们的黑队跟绿队增加三千分。谁先进就可以获得这三千分。加油！这边有没有加油？喊声一下。好，你们谁要先？来来，派一个代表出来猜拳。剪刀石头布。好，先跟各位公布一下，我们黑队本来是七万八千六，哎，绿队是七万零五百。谁先 ？Welcome back to the broadcast. Just the、uh, cheerleaders trying out a little、uh, putting practice on the logo. Now, typically before the start of the second half, when the players are still in their huddles, they'll do a, a full court putt with a fan. Maybe this is a, something part of their Haley competition. Anyways, as to the、uh, basketball on the floor, as I mentioned, it's kind of been a very up and down shooting game for the two teams. As we'll be getting into our second segment, that's leading scores, as always. 好，我们再换绿队，姐姐，小绿一点，来，姐姐小绿一点，太小一点。好，黑队，黑队，麦克加油。On the pilot side, actually in all, only if I can believe this, five of their 45 points have come from their local players who have also not shot the ball all that much. We have four for Tony Ray. A couple of layups is how he's got to his mark, or a layup and a jump shot. Zhou Yixiang has only scored on a free throw. Starting the game, Lin Ziwei 0 for 1. Today, backup guard Li Jiakong has three assists, but 0 for 2. And、uh, their top scorer, local scorer Lu Junxiang, 0 for 6, and has not gone to the line at all. He's second in the plus league in local player scoring. There's the leading scorers: Washburn 18, Meeks, and Travion Graham 11 points apiece. Well, it's not impossible that the import players do all the scoring, but it certainly will be, a, as I said, a long journey to the finish line. And as I mentioned in the previous segment, the pilots are just finding better angles to deliver the pass to Jason Washburn, and that time there, working on his own to get into advantageous rebounding position. That's not been that easy, too. The Dreamers have done better on the boards. Julian Boyd leads them with 13 points. Got the twos and the threes working today. Lu Guan now getting the start again, and this one he's got ten. Followed by Gilbex nine. Doug Crane with a couple of threes. He's got eight points, and McCullough with six. Getting the highlight package is Julian Boyd. 
Sometimes it's a set play, sometimes it's the effort plays like that offensive rebound. And here, a steal and a coast to coast. He also has five rebounds and two assists as well. So far in the game, Dreamers seven for 10 from the line. Pretty good, considering they're the lowest free throw percentage team in the league versus the Pilots, seven of 11. Now, the Pilots are definitely a team, if they're not hitting it from the three point line, they'll be definitely avoiding those shots, though their free throw percentage is somehow tops in the plus league. Explain that. We'll go to a break. We're about two minutes away from the start of the second half. Hi, 看起來真的會但就稍顯大力了一點 You enjoyed the pause in the action after halftime. The uh, Dreamers actually coming out with lead the way at center. Chris McCullough, power forward, the only import versus uh, Travion Graham, Jason Washburn, Zoe Shum, Bialton, and uh, Justin Utri Shum. Guan now fading to a tough shot with Aji and Chen Zhenjie, the four. Dreamers locals in total. Dreamers forcing that one up. And will continue to be an over on his afternoon. On the switch, Graham trying to stay in front of Achi. Doe with a guard on him. The double comes, forcing a backpedal dribble. And uh, not a live ball turnover, but uh, I'm sure Doe saying he got pushed out of bounds. 
but not a good way to execute your move against a guard. That handoff as Graham barely saved it inbound. Again on the handoff play. After Jackson letting it fly and ripping it through the nylon. Number 24, Graham now with 13 points. Tad passes, the rhythm is off for the Dreamers. Down low to Derek, putting up a wild miss. He had two pilots guards in front of him. It's Washburn showing how it's done and eventually a travel. Definitely could have picked up the pace on that one. Spacing out. Zoe Shout primarily covering McCullough. And now a foul as three free throws will be coming up. No, it'll be a baseline out of bounds. That's a little hard to believe. I guess the referees could say that Jason Washburn was pushed into a shot more than taking one. Ball screen for Justin. They're laying it in on the baseline drive. His first score. Of course, 16 and a half points per game and not getting anything in a half is not easy to overcome. We'll see about it for the second half. Get past to Jay Chen. He's got to cut the shoot, but leaving it short. The J also sitting with zeros to his name. Let's get past to Hui Xiang and uh, Justin overlapping, and it's probably the biggest air ball we have on the game. A little bit of smiles by Justin having his pass cut off by a teammate. Ethan's got it. Up ahead of Travion Graham. Going to the right side and laying it in with the right. And just like that, the uh, Talia and Puyer and Pilots are up on the game with a 6-0 to zero start. McCullough with physicality. No. Ball getting away. It's Washburn starting the break. Getting around Aji. Two steps. The whistle and one. So as we credited the Dreamers for good transition D in the first half, that was not the case. Living the tallest and uh, sturdiest, we'll call him, Jason Washburn, go all the way. You know, look, Nachi, not much of a challenge, and Lu Guanyang, again, fouling as the last defender. Play a nine to nothing run. Boyd given a step, overshoots it as Graham collects the rebound and the pilots will push. Intended for Graham, but saved by Boyd. Chris McCullough's turn, no, and 
after a few ricochets, it's to Hayden. Doug screening McCullough, blocked by Washburn as tangled up. Dodgeball, uh, who eventually won by Jim Hall. Great show of courage by Washburn to get up and challenge. And there you see what Jason Washburn's not so happy about, that weird arm hook with the offed hand. Of course, respectfully to the referee, is not an easy thing to call. Low on time. Another Hayden offensive rebound. And a foul is on the floor. Understandably, Jason Washburn making a case, but it might be a little bit too high level considering the referees are looking for contact with the dunking arm and on the body too. Cutting and slamming it in. A good screen there to get Chris McCullough open. And the first score, if you can believe it, of the uh, second half. We're already under seven minutes. Justin crashed into as Jason Wilson. Look what I found. He finishes with a flush. On the cut from the outside, short and not good block out as another board goes the Dreamer's way. Boy, making now driving, hooking it up for a miss. Legal defense there. With space, Justin looking at an open three, rattling it in. And finally, we got our timeout in the second half, but it's the uh, Dreamers now looking at a uh, seven-point deficit halfway through the third quarter. Battle的时间到了，大家可以准备把你们的目光投向大屏幕，给我们波波莎sexy一起来dance Oh, move your body. Sexy Perhaps the uh, best dancing fan base in the uh, Plus League. The uh, Pilots fans are, are in town. Now, if I remember correctly, the Nemo is in reference to uh, the Pilots' import from the second season, uh, uh, Bezovich. A seven foot five outside shooting center. I think that would be the tallest import, but taller than him was Sim Bular, the input of the year for the Lion Years, helping them onto a regular season number one seed. Well, just from what we know of Coach Pullman, he likes to keep those second half timeouts, but because it was a score, he was forced to call a timeout. His squad facing a seven point deficit. Brandon Gill back in and a wild pass out of bounds. Definitely not the way they wanted to start. 
after only one possession, Jay Chen and Aji will be uh, changing out the backcourt. One Justin missing with that as Ethan runs it down. Finally, the pilots are getting a second chance. Graham in the lane, missing the uh, teardrop. So after a stop, Pella wanting to post up Zoe Shaw. Rising above and getting the contact on the arms. So Zoe Shaw. It is one sturdy man, so it won't be easy to beat him by physicality. There, the speed won out. See the contact on the right el elbow. Two fouls apiece. Chris McCullough coming into this, these free throws. Now his ninth point on the game. He's also got 10 rebounds. Jason Washburn out of position. Gilbeck getting the long rebound. So another chance. Slipping with it and losing it out of bounds. Thinking it's time for the pilots to get a score. Open catch and shoot. Travion Graham off the mark. And again, the pilots locals have not found much scoring on the game as Jackie going for a steal ends up on the ground and Anji to McCullough. Nice feed. So turning a miss into two more points as the Dreamers closing down the gap. Jason Washburn from mid-range, no. Getting off the uh, double team, it's Jay Chen knocking down a three, and the Pilots now looking for some answers. Dreamers have done well to stay the course. Secured those defensive rebounds and run their offense. Zoe Shun on the screen. Stay, no. We're going the other way. Right now, the pilot's body language quite defeated, and the pilot, and the dreamers, excuse me, sensing a little bit of momentum. Anji floating up, Void. Had that tapped away, throwing it wildly inbounds for Zoe Shaw. Dangerous dribble by Tony Ray, so we'll get started with a Washburn high post possession. Oh, Zoe Shaw there clanking it. His form has been quite uh, less than desirable, shall we say. Found the perimeter. Here you see the reaching by Jackie, taken advantage of by uh, Aji. Eight seconds on the shot clock, Aji. With the switch, pass back to Doug. He tries it. Too strong and another long rebound, Dreamers. Pilot on the floor as Anji hesitates. Pilot's roll over to Jan Hollow. Swishes it. That's 
with the uh, Dreamers now up by two. Lee Jun Ji with 10 assists, I believe is six in his plus league career in double digits. Blocked by Gilbeck. Easy. Easily against Lee Jiao Kong driving baseline. Not done. No, it's uh, Gilbeck. Fouled on the drive. We'll have to earn it at the line. And if I'm a, a Pilots fan, I'm seriously asking why Caminos hasn't called for a timeout. If it's Meeks, that's going to be his fifth personal. It's opening up the third so strong, the Dreamers were bound to answer. Andy Gilbeck with 10, now 11 points on the afternoon. We'll have Terry Ray continue to run the point position. Back pass to Washburn. He's got a mismatch. Not great spacing, though. As Gilbeck blocks that one. Running low on time. Off for the pump. At least getting on the rim. A two on two for the Dreamers as Boyd is fouled. Not a well-run offense by the Pilots and the Dreamers once again getting to the run, getting to some advantageous spacing. And a look at Achi looking for his 11th assist on the game. And now for the rest of two minutes, Dreamers in the bonus having only committed two team fouls themselves. So much for the uh, quick trip to the bench. Boyd missing the first. Gilbeck will head to the bench, but on the quarter, seven offensive rebounds for the Dreamers. Seven defensive rebounds for the Pilots. That's definitely not good enough. You want to be in the low to mid 70s percentage wise. Washburn, good hustle by McCullough. He's got deep positioning though, and ball getting around to a dreamer. Aji will end up with a lot of arc to that one. Minute and a half to go. Pilots definitely want to find that early Second half momentum. Justin, back pass to Washburn, not on target. Little three on two as McCullough is fouled. Another hard foul, but again, the uh, Dreamers doing a great job getting their run out opportunities. with the first. Yesterday had 15 points, 12 rebounds, and four steals. And right now, the uh, Dreamers are just free throw shooting their way through the uh, later, latter part of the third. 66 to 59. See Ding Guan Hao back in the game as off ball foul. Dreamers third team foul. If it's on Boyd, that'll be his fourth. 
Only one foul left for him before being disqualified. And Doe immediately running to the table. And a counter move by Kuminos to bring in Ling Tsun. Going a little bit bigger with Graham pushed to small forward. The rookie trying to guard the month MVP, getting a lot of help through past the Linta, impatient with it. Forced into a miss as Washburn, he can't get it up in time. Would be good eyes by the uh, scorer's table if Linzen didn't put it on the rim. Caminos and Washburn trying to contend to hit the rim, but the scorer's table and the referees do not agree. Call up through the contact, couldn't get it in. Kind of adventurous pass as Graham held on to count it. He beat Jin Hall once again, this time in transition. Getting the bounce is in. Now Trayvon Graham, 18 points, five rebounds, 62 to 66 to score. A little bit of full court man defense. Interesting, it's Linton guarding Chris McCullough. Quick double as Aji's finding some space. Crossing over, going baseline, the jumper is no good. Now the Dreamers also have a mismatch issue of their own. Pizza and around to Graham, getting around Doug, challenging Doughway, flipping up above his head. No, Washburn couldn't get it up in time. So in the end, the Dreamers get a stop, even though the Pilots get a decent look. So heading into the fourth and final frame of this one is the Dreamers up 66 to 62 over the Pilots.
Plus, the Chomi Oh My Basketball is my own in IV Bar, showing you about Johnny Lancho's English slang. Welcome to the link to the link to the link to the link. Never too young to start. The uh, TV production crew finding some of the uh, younger fans in the stadium. We detailed plenty in the start of the broadcast. Dreamers currently on a three-game losing streak, trying to snap that. And right now in a good position, up by four, though they were up by much more than that in the early goings of the game. Pilots making a little bit of a run in the third, especially. Getting the start is Jason Washburn off to the right with that three. And a whistle in the uh, front court. It's like Achi. Took a little owie to his hand. Trying to shake that off. The Dreamers, as mentioned, seven offensive rebounds in the third quarter. Six of eight from the free throw line to make up for their only four of 20 shooting from the field. Meanwhile, the Pilots definitely getting one of these not good from three early. Let's see if they can wake up in the later part of the game. Easy block by Washburn. Only five seconds left as Boyd spinning to a tough shot. And a good effort by Jay Chen getting a jump ball out of it. Whistle came too quick. Wild pass out of bounds as Jay Chen diving to the first row of seats. Luke Boyan now trying to hit him with that pass on the baseline. Jackie's hands as Washburn dribble, kick out. Graham will try the three. No. Gilbeck's ahead, but Washburn finds him in transition on the other side. Guan Yang will swing it to the top. Trying to find our first score of the fourth quarter as Jackie, good front defense. Ryan forced into a tough one as that one bounces through. Looking to take the three in. Uh, not supposed to be his forte. Now on the other side, lingson has got a side advantage. Two dribbles. A little pull up for Lington. Probably has to work on that a little bit better. And Kennedy Meeks is heading toward the scorer's table for the pilots. Ryan given a lane by Gilbeck. He drops it in. Utilizing the backboard. So a four point run for the Dreamers. And Lington has got a size advantage, but I think maybe they could use it in a different way. Grant forced him to a wild shot by Gilbeck. As Justin jumping this pass. So almost was an open layup for the Dreamers. Slight numbers for the uh, Pilots as Boyd gets the block. Three on two, Aji dribbling, flipping, no foul first. And uh, after the uh, Pilots thought they would have had an opportunity before, or perhaps it was the Dreamers as well. I'd also say, if not for the alley, perhaps the Dreamers would want some free throws out of this possession. After Meeks, joined by Ethan for the Pilots. Doug and McCullough for the Dreamers. Back in action. Achi not going left with the right hand miss. And Gilbeck couldn't flush it. We 
Nice quick to Washburn, turning around and getting the bounce on a Gilbeck. Off the of McCullough's shoulders, and they said he was already out of bounds. Kicks it to Meeks. That one's no good. Looks sure of a double as Anji not a big pass off to Ryan, but now I'll have to play it slow. On the dribble. There it is. Good one now finally finding some outside rhythm. Having a not attempted a couple earlier in the quarter and finally forcing Coach Caminos to call his first time out of the second half. Can you believe it? So 8.27 left on the clock. Dreamers 73, Pilots 64. We'll be back after this. Oh,绿队的好,不过大家,我们绿队在一下吧。好,获胜的究竟是黑队还是绿队呢?好,现在就来公布,黑队今天的总积分是九万六千五百分。绿队的总积分是八万九千五百分。让我们恭喜黑队
as I said, the last time they played here, made five on the local side to make it a ball game in the end. Right now, find themselves down by seven. A few of those outside makes would definitely get him back much closer. The imports have had the scoring burden put on them. A flip pass as McCullough read it. Now three on one. Zoe Shang, the only pirate. Such it. Missing Doug picking up his teammate. though after a side trying to stay the course. Washburn passing it into a turnover. Doug in transition. Low line drive through. But no timeout. Pilots will just get the bench going again. This fourth quarter dominated by the boys in black. Now a 12 to 4 run as Justin rattling in one. Under six minutes to play, Lu Zhishang with nine points all coming in the second half. Different matchup this time as Doug with an angle. Ethan getting the steal and a nice feed, but three on two. He'll go right to the cup. A little two basket, two score run for the uh, pilots. Are they back in business? Dreamers space it out way wide with Gilbeck in the dunker spot. Don't see that very often. Maneuver into a post up. Ethan cutting, ball getting away. Staying with the Dreamers as J10 will let it go and good! Right now that big first quarter looking like too much for the Pilots to overcome another turnover. Meeks couldn't get a clean shot off. J10 having one, another! Five minutes to go. Finally, a timeout by the pilots as Kennedy Meese get himself a technical. Already out of the game with six fouls. And trying to look for more. Finally chased back by Jason Washburn. Defensively, Jay Chen, a couple of made threes. Might have, based on the pilot scoring on the game, might have put this game out of reach. Motion, give it Because of the uh, technical during the stoppage, we have a Dreamers free throw coming up. But funny enough, the Pilots were out of the timeout first and Tahir Ray was lining it up at the wrong basket. Our scoreboard having a little malfunction. They were stuck on 81 points for the uh, Dreamers. And they're supposed to be at 84. And 
18 to eight fourth quarter. I would say on the Dreamer side, they've definitely played with the desperation of a team trying to end a losing streak and putting on a good show for their home fans. Meanwhile, the Pilots in this fourth quarter, four for 12, shooting the basketball, have not gone to the line. Have allowed three offensive rebounds in the uh, Dreamers to shoot at will. G, four points to his name on the afternoon. A chance for five here. A beautiful switch there to push the lead even more. Going to start a run. It'll have to start now. Tony Ray, with Zoe Shang with the Washburn screening and popping as Zoe Shang. It has not been his afternoon. This shot just looks worse and worse out there. But he's the one the pilots really trust, despite his low shooting percentage. He still has the gusto. Boyd avoiding the block shot and uh, getting the score. Washburn's tape came loose. Left hand has all kinds of taping on the index and middle, the pinky and the ring finger. He'll be ready to go after given a moment. Going right at McCullough, going with the dream shake, and from close range, getting it in. Anji on a triple pull up three, easy work. That's the one guy that the Dreamers crowd will get really excited for. A nice show of athleticism by Terry Ray on. It was already a dead ball. Foul against Graham. Perhaps the luckiest of bounces this season. Graham. That make it now up to 21 points. Blinking that second as Washburn jumps into it. Graham is seven for 12 from two point range, but only one for five from three. As Justin's trying to get his second, just airs it. In a 40 game season, it's definitely feeling like one of these games that no matter what they do, shooting the basketball, it's just not going in. Good anticipation. Justin getting the steal and throwing it to a pilot's teammate. Go three on four on two if they hurry. Sean from the left corner. Finds out. Three minutes to go in this one. Looks like just mop-up work for the Dreamers. Through pass, Boyd on the clutching layup. Neither coach going to their reserves yet. Maybe give it another minute as Justin will counter with a layup of his own. Easy blow by there on the right ward dribble. Back pass, really employed with a open catch and shoot. Through pass, Washburn couldn't handle it. Thought he was hit. Might have an 
argument for that. Another ball screen, but this time it's McCullough. He's got space, takes off, and utilizes the glass for another score. Slowly but surely, he's built up his scoring on the game. A holding foul by Boyd. Another one of those Washburn would like to have counted, score-wise. Took off the headband too. Perhaps his afternoon's done with Gilbeck checking in. Pulling up from a, almost 30 feet and count it with a foul. That'll be Julian Boyd's sixth foul. Doesn't look like it'll have any effect on the end result, but. Certainly change the score a little bit. You see, not a good closeout. Of course, that's a lot of human being to move out of his own way. So McCullough is back in, but no headband. Gilbeck still has got to get his rebound number. Now on the Gilbeck ball screen, Aki scoring from the right wing. Number 11 with 11. And this one is just about ready to go into the books. Washburn finally hitting a jump shot. Not been easy for him or the pilots. Under two minutes, substitutions going out. But you know, once all the guys get on the floor, actually missing out on yesterday's game, number 18, Yang Se Yin is in at one of the wing positions. With this win, the uh, Dreamers will move even with the Pilots at 20 wins, 12 losses. The Pilots were the first team to do so to 20 wins. That is on the season with their win against the Braves. Yang Su Yin, open jump shot. The Dreamers next host a home game against the Kings next Friday before going on the road on s Sunday. Meanwhile, the Pilots only have one Saturday game against the Lioneers at the Lioneers next week at the 5 p.m. time slot. The Dreamers are dribbling out the clock. And they'll be uh, given the chance right away. There's the final buzzer. 97 to 80 is your final score as after a hard fought game, hard fought weekend for the Dreamers, you could say. One loss and followed by one win is good enough to get them back into first place. The key, of course, beating previous number one pilots who definitely are happy they don't have to come to this building again. Having lost by three points, now losing by 17. Again, that big first quarter is really what did the Pilots in. 35 to 20 in that opening frame. Too much to overcome. And of course, they also played poorly in the fourth. There was turnovers abound, mistakes abound. But when you're familiar with your opponents, as we are in the Plus League with only six teams, a lot of times it really just comes down to effort and concentration. On the game, 
Aji achieved 1,500 points scored, the fourth in the league and the second non-import player and the first in the league to achieve 1,500 points and 500 assists. But interviewed is Lu Guanyang, hey. who really jumped out in the fourth quarter. Overall on his game is 17 points on 7 of 12 shooting. Now asked about uh, Dreamers getting off to a hot start. Saying that facing the top team, all they could do was just play as hard as they could. Now asked about the rotations. Uh, and Lu Guanyang countering that the bench still has enough depth. Now asked about his individual scoring performance. Uh, Lu Guanyang seems like he wants to head to the locker room of saying that just wants to enjoy the game. I'm sure he did today. Now asked about Lin Junji's playmaking and assists. Uh, and saying Achi is an offensive weapon, and every uh, time he drives, his teammates will be left open. Asked about their bounce back. And finishing that saying the coaches gave them a lot of tips in the pregame. And the veterans also gave the team a pep talk. So salvaging win on the weekend ends up being a pretty re good result considering the team they defeated. So just like I predicted in yesterday's start of the broadcast, we have a change in the standings once again. We'll go to break before finally wrapping things up from Zhanghua. It's a final here from Zhanghua County Stadium. 
six Dreamers score in double digits and combine that with their 19 offensive rebounds certainly was just too much for the pilots to deal with. There's the combined team statistics where they eventually win the rebounding by a margin of 16 despite turning it over five more times. Definitely felt like in the second half they took way more control of the uh, turnover issues they had in the first half. Of course, shooting the three ball 13 for 37 is about 35 percent but the uh, pilots completely abandoning their long shots and we can obviously tell the results if in the fourth quarter they could replicate what they did last time here in Zanghua maybe they would have had a chance but in the end the pilots definitely came in lacking the focus lacking the intensity they needed and of course there'll be plenty of arguments about the fouling and free throw situation well, part of that is, of course, who comes into the game with a tougher mindset. Coming up are the Taipei Football Braves against the Kaohsiung 1-7 Live Steelers. It will be another game that's still important for the standings as the Braves don't want to fall another game behind the Lioneers. Need to keep up with a win today. New Taipei Kings against the uh, Formosa Dreamers will be the next game, having played yesterday already. Another one of those matchups in close proximity of the last game, and that's just how it goes. It'll be Friday at 7 p.m. in a Intercontinental Basketball Stadium. So on behalf of Tian Kui, the birthday boy, and uh, Tom Hongxuan, and our six teams in the Plus League in our league's office. Thank you for watching. I've been Ryan Chen, and we'll see you in the next one.